I'm Shane White, and this is The Process. Hey gang, Shane Patrick White here with another edition of The Process. On today's Developer's Diary, I'm now working on page five of the layouts. I took a snapshot of the first four pages and sent those into the editor and the writer, noting some of the uh, changes that I made not to the story per se, but things where they may have suggested something in the script and I wanted to make sure that however it plays out visually, that it makes more sense. The idea being that whatever is in a script, as it's your job as an artist to to keep plussing it, you know, to keep making it better than, than what it is. And everyone's interpretation of better is different. Um, so I, I I did some things as far as like framing or pacing, uh, adding a, a panel here or there, just to sort of create mood or set something up for later. I'll talk more about it in a, in a post uh, on my Patreon at some point. If you're not familiar with my Patreon, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Patrick White. So I had to order some paper and I started this project on three ply 500 series Strathmore, Bristol. And I only had about six pages worth of paper. So I ended up buying 65 sheets of 20 by 39 or whatever it was. And it set me back about Five hundred and four forty dollars, which is uh, interesting. Uh, what I end up doing, I t- typically do, is I will buy paper or supplies that I know I'll be using later on down the line. So I have other projects that use this type of paper. Uh, for many years, I've always used a, the smooth Bristol, and I was using a brush, which is nice and clean and whatever. But smooth paper typically is used with pen nibs or pens of of certain types. But I've always used brushes. So I started using the rough paper and it seems to seem to get to play with it more. It it brings out more of the texture that I like in, in some of the inks that I do. So when I start this next project, I'll definitely be embracing it for the long haul. So we'll see. But for now, um, the writer and editor so far liked what they saw and they liked some of the symbology that I I put in there, uh, which I'll again go into in further detail. So until that paper arrives, I have to get one and a half pages done today and hope that I can move on to pencils. And then from there, I'll have to scan those pencils and then resubmit the pencils. The reason why I submitted the layouts is because if they have any problems with the story, pacing or whatever, they'll catch it there. If they catch it in the final pencils, that means I've got to spend more of my time redrawing from the ground up, which is a waste of my time and money. And it's only going to cause me some frustration. So I'm trying to eliminate frustration, trying to save me some money. And I also want to make sure that they have an end uh, of where I'm going with, with the story. By submitting the pencils, they will go to the letterer. And then the letterer will figure out how to make it work. Usually when I'm lettering, I scan the, the pencils in to make sure the story is working. But then I also adjust the actual art because I don't like word balloons overlapping key art. I just, it's it's a pet peeve of mine and I know I can avoid it and I think it just looks better overall in the final product. So we'll see. That's that's something else you have to incorporate into your schedule is the time it takes to scan something. So for me to scan 11 by 17 on my small scanner, that's about two minutes and 30 seconds. But you know, when you add that up, over the course of say 10 pages, that's over 20 minutes. So gotta keep those things in mind. So anyways, uh, until next time, 
Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.